Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Shalom, the Lord bless you. My name is Roger, and I welcome you to God's Move channel with Pastor Roger. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. If you're watching me for the first time, you're highly welcome. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning on to this channel. Just click on the button, subscribe, like the videos, and share it with your loved ones. And God, who is a rewarder of men, will bless you mightily and abundantly in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. For my consistent subscribers, God bless you. Thank you for always standing by me. Thank you for always sharing the sharing this broadcast onto your social media timeline. Thank you for always being there. May the Almighty God increase you. May He open every closed doors in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. The prophetic word of today, the Lord says, I should tell you. Hmm. For someone is confused, someone is confused and thinking of what to tell you to clear themselves. To clear themselves. I repeat again. Someone is confused and is thinking of what to tell you to confuse yourself. Why? Because something happened and this person was being ignorantly reacted wrongly. Ignorantly, this person was being... Uh, uh, how can I really put it? This person, the light, the put pressure was mounted pressure, and this person had to say things about you that he or she ought not to. Hallelujah! Now the truth has been revealed. The truth has been revealed, and this person now is do not know what to do. Is so confused and he said, "But why? What pushed me? What prompted me?" Why did I say this? And now this person is now so confused and thinking of what to, to do or what to come and tell you so as to clear themselves, so as to vindicate themselves. This person is so much in stress. This person is so much stress. It's, there's so much of tension and pressure in this person's life. This person is so much confused. He doesn't know what to do. Either he's moving left or he's moving right or from which that other, or from which angle or direction he or she's taking. But this person is so confused on how to face you, on how to confront you and to tell you the truth and to tell you what happened so as to vindicate themselves. Hallelujah. They did that which they did, thinking they were doing it to kill you, not knowing they were doing that to strengthen you. Hallelujah. For scripture says, for I will never allow the righteous, this is God speaking, for he will never allow the righteous to be forsaken. They said what they said. They did all what they did. But what happened? The Lord stood by you. The Lord stood by you and he has vindicated you. Now the vindication is out and the eyes of this person are clear. This person's eyes are clear and is regret. It's, oh, what did I do? What did I do? Why did I do this? Why did I betray this person? And this person who betrayed you is so close to you. He's a close friend to you. He's a close friend to you. He's so close to you. Now, this person is so confused. He's so much terrified of how to face you and to tell you. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And you yourself, you're doubting. You're asking yourself, was this person not being involved? This person is not being involved. The Lord said, yes, your intuition is correct. This person, that person was involved. That person was involved in, that, in what happened. He was involved. And now this person now is so guilty and is thinking, I'm so much confused and thinking of how to confront you, to tell you the truth of what happened. But the Lord says, I should tell you, bear no grudges. Bear no grudges. Bear no grudges. For forgiving is divine. To, to err is human. To err is human. Forgiving is divine. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. And I pray for you today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As you hearken unto the voice of God. May the Lord establish you. May the Lord fill you, fill you with the spirit of discernment. To know who are really. Who are those that are really your friends. In the name of Jesus Christ. And may the Lord reveal unto you your good friends. May the Lord reveal unto you those you should keep around you. Because your those you keep around you determine or determines how far you go in life. Hallelujah. 
Praise Master Jesus. And I pray that may God reveal those who are really your friend. Those you should keep and those you should not keep around you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. And the Lord said, as you relieve this person from your heart, for your heart is not a store, it's not a well house. He said, as you relieve, as you release this person from your heart. And he says, something will happen to you. Something, a tremendous miracle. There's a miracle on a great that will come upon you that you will you will never be you won't be able to explain you won't be able to explain for the bible says it says when the lord turned the captivity of zion we were like, like like men that dream so the lord is about to turn your captivity the lord is about to turn your captivity he said but let the, let them go relieve them from thy heart remove them from thy heart do not keep them in your heart do not keep any grudges let them go let them go forgive and forget for he's about he for he's about to turn your captivity and as you turn your captivity people will be surprised they'll be shocked and surprised however whatever is happening right now is just a genesis it is just a genesis and as you hearken on to the voice of god God do do exceedingly and abundant, abundantly and above all things that man could think of in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for in Jesus' mighty name, Amen. You are blessed, you are favored, and you are lifted. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Stay blessed, and God bless you. Shalom.